Hello, hello. Today we're testing Cooper's Carnival on N64. I finished this level just yesterday and I have tested most of these areas on N64 to like try and make them run properly. This having like 30 FPS here already is very good because the level has 6200 triangles. For comparison, the most levels in Mario 60, the most triangles the Mario 64 level has is around 1000. I mean, Hazy, Hazy Maze Cave has around 5,000, but, you know, it's all separate rooms, so that doesn't really count. Uh, it seems to all work pretty well so far. Um, the way the render works in this area is that there is three separate areas. Well, not three separate areas, but three parts to this park. Which... Let me, let me go over to the other park, I guess you can't see them from the Trump Sphinx. And basically every part has some triangles that are exclusive to that part, some triangles that you can only see from high up, and then some triangles that you can only see when you're very high up. So by doing it that way, I can cull most of these triangles, despite them still being there. So... That makes it so that I typically only have to render around I'd say 5,000 at most, which is still a ton for the N64. Uh, but it makes us a little more reasonable. Obviously this engine here is super optimized too, especially compared to the Mario 64 engine. Yeah, so from here you can see the other areas pretty well. It still runs 30, you can see even the objects render. This is a bit, this is probably what makes me the sad most, the most sad. Because with this camera settings, for some reason, it's like down to 24, 25. I don't know why that is. I feel like I can still fix that, but I don't know how. We also have um, transitions between render zones, like right here. If you carefully position the camera, you can kind of see that the level pops in here. I, I don't know if you saw that. Probably the most expensive render is on top of this freefall here. Let me just get on a bump. Let's get on with a good camera setting right here. Right, so if you look over, you should see some of the geometry pop in. Like, where's the roller coaster? There. Right, but I mean, this is uh, 5,000 triangles, it's still 23 FPS, which I know it kind of sucks, but that's to be expected. Like, this is better than I anticipated. This is really good, actually. The other areas, obviously, they all just run 60, I would assume. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. I know why this happens. Easy fix. But <laughs> let's check some of the other areas out as well. The ghost house, I, I think I already showcased the ghost house running just fine. The ghost house is a bunch of separate rooms, so the ghost house is no issue. We don't have to worry about that. What else we got is the loft tunnels here. Please note, my N64 is 500 milliseconds of input lag because of the capture card. So I do not take any comments about me playing bad. I do not accept those complaints. Symptoms somewhere else. Yeah, so this, these guys there have like 3000 polygons just by themselves. Or 2000, so... That's why it goes down to 30 FPS here. But if you look at the CMD, we're still like easily between 33 milliseconds, so... Nothing to worry about here. And we got the lookout tower right here. So that one total has five areas, I think. I was gonna have eight, but you know, my I ran out of RAM, so I couldn't add all eight. Although area, you know, the the two areas that are missing are really just the overworld, but like different. I was gonna make separate areas for each part of the overworld just to minimize the render, but you know, that's not possible. So I went with my method instead. Which in hindsight, that's even better actually. 
The only issue with that is that there's a lot of objects around, which means the level script runs for a while. So technically, I guess if I optimize that, we could get another 2 or 3 FPS. I might do that. You can't get out of here without crashing the game. This is where the N64 descends. I hope you guys are surprised by how well this runs. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.